Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we'll be working here on a Chevy Cruze and we'll show you how to remove and replace the radio guys, the whole device, also known as the CD player on Chevy Cruze. So make sure you stay until the end guys, we're going to cover everything. Quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why we guys do all that? Because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video, hopefully you will find the information helpful. If you guys need to buy anything, any tools, parts, anything like that, we have guys the link that we use in the description of the video below guys. You can find pretty much anything for very good price and fast shipping as well. So check it out. Now, let's start on it. So all you're going to need now is some trim removal pieces guys and I'm going to explain in a second uh, All that will be guys shared in the description of the video below so you can see where we uh, got all our parts from So this is guys, okay, what I'll be using now trim removal tool right here So okay, perfect like that right here now on top you have two small clips you have one bigger clip here And I think you have one clip here. So what I usually do, okay? On here I cannot go but if you come right here close to the airbag but be careful Okay, you can Pry it up. Okay like that just pry and with that trim removal tool we're not causing any damage guys Okay, and the clips popped out now we need to do the same thing on this side guys now on the driver side So I'm going to get the tool in right here. Okay, and I'm going to try to Pop it loose perfect now what else we do guys? I think we have a few clips here, here and there. So how we are going to do now that I'm going to lift this thing up a little bit. Pry. Okay, pry it a little bit. Now we are going to come on this side. Okay, let's just come a little bit this way. Okay, and it's loose on this side. Now the only clip that we have is that center right here guys. That is holding still pretty good there so what I'm going to do now okay we're going to go ahead and just shake it a little bit and I can actually see the clip myself guys so what I'm going to do now I'll come on the bottom and try to pry a little bit here okay and clip came out now let me show you where all the clips are guys this is the one that's super strong so now check it out on top one two three four those are not very strong clips guys right here now you have on the side one on each side one big one metal one one in the middle and one on the other side so you can see quite a few clips but that piece is out of there now so now guys what we need to do okay right here now we need to start uh, removing a few clips because in order to get to the radio it's on the bottom and uh, uh, the okay that's the control for the radio if you need to replace that one you can actually replace it now we have two screws but it goes down a little bit you can still pull it out we have the video we were successfully we successfully pulled it out but what I'll do now okay there is a couple of clips okay right there that I need to go ahead and pull out guys so that's what I'm trying to do now but it looks like okay it looks like there is a few clips individual clips on each one of those so let me verify that actually okay before we continue so you know guys okay what to expect now I'm going to start on this side as well so you know guys what I'm doing Okay, let me get the plastic panel removal too, guys, and try to pull all the clips up that I can. Okay, this one came loose. This one here as well. Okay, it's loose on this side. I have a few on this side now that I need to pop loose. And those are a little bit hard to get to, by the way. Okay, I still have one holding 
somewhere here let me see where exactly it is okay on this one i have only three here so practically it means that i should be able to come up i just have one clip okay right here holding okay that trim piece comes up okay like that now right here guys we couldn't pry it so much because we have okay let me just get the bit here i'll do it with the screwdriver quick with the electric screwdriver we have a couple more screws one two Okay, three right here. We have four right there. Now let me see if that thing will come out. Or we need to do more disassembly. Probably we need to remove that part two here with two screws. This one will be the correct way to do it. Perfect. Now let me see. Okay, this piece comes out. It actually snaps in the other piece, so that's why we had to remove it. Now we can pull this one like that. Okay, you can see it's out of the way and now i'm going to show you guys okay what else we need to do same okay same too we need to remove the controls okay for the radio now so okay you can see this is the screw that i'm removing here and then one more there okay so radio controls should come up you have two clips right here grab it pull it out okay now right here that horse fell off earlier so i want to show you you're supposed to have one blue thing okay right here that prevents it from getting loose so pull it out okay and go ahead press in here disconnect it now this thing i'll try to okay let me reinstall it here okay so hopefully we won't lose it this time because it got loose last time and we lost it now we still have to do more guys okay to get the radio out of that thing it's not an easy easy task we have two more screws to remove on top this is for the infotainment screen so we're getting these two out now perfect those are out now right here guys you're going to have uh, a few clips here two big ones and three little ones there so oh, okay i usually grab that thing pull it out I'll remove it by pressing down here, disconnecting it. You can see it's out. Now, only thing that I have left now, and I will recommend to have your car battery disconnected, guys, every time you do that, is to remove two more screws. So quite a few screws that we removed so far. Good thing we have that power screwdriver, guys. If you want to see where we purchased ours from, and we've been using it for more than three years i think it's amazing simply guys amazing too definitely worth the investment two more on top right there so you can see how many okay for hold the radio to the infotainment screen and another four uh, another six were holding the bottom piece together now we grab it and this is guys okay your radio okay now things get interesting interesting here so we need to come with the camera okay this way i want to show you how to disconnect it now guys let me explain to you now so now right here let me just uh, fix the screen okay so you can you can guys see what's happening okay right there now we're going to release okay that clip right here push down push down and release it guys like that then we have just two more those are actually okay for the antennas for uh different guys antennas so this could this could be a little bit tricky okay how to remove but i'm going to explain to you in a second 
when I figure it out okay myself so let me let me see if you lift that thing up a little bit or we just press it down so if I just gently okay pry that uh, okay that clip down okay where you press down there and pull at the same time okay it comes out same thing applies to this one here okay and the whole radio cd player assembly guys everything came out as you can see just like that so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to guys do that thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time